This summer, one of the biggest international sporting events has taken place in the city of Birmingham. It is, of course, the Commonwealth Games. Athletes from 72 nations and territories have competed against each other in 19 sports and 280 medal events. Competition in this context is seen in very positive terms. It encourages athletes to do their very best and set new records in sporting achievement. Indeed, friendly competition is part of the human experience. It can be a catalyst for growth and development. Yet the passage that we have this, this Sunday is not about friendly competition. Instead, we have Jesus announcing that he comes as one who will bring with him division. Specifically, Jesus states that his presence will divide families and set them against one another. Jesus knows that his ministry will be a challenge to the powers of his time, specifically the chief priests in Jerusalem. His teachings will not be welcomed by those who are in positions of power, who oppress the poor and the vulnerable. Jesus is making it clear that his presence will lead to people having to make a decision about their loyalties, to follow him and be part of God's kingdom, or to reject him, and in so doing, reject his liberating love. Jesus is preparing his disciples for the opposition that they will face as they seek to follow him. The decision to follow Jesus always has personal consequences. In my previous appointment in Hull, the Methodist Church ran a project called Open Doors, which supported refugees and asylum seekers. Many of the Christians who had fled their home countries had not only faced persecution from the state authorities because of their faith, but also from their neighbours and even family members. In this example, there is a very clear division and tension between following Jesus and conforming to the powers and pressures that are around us. Yet although this is an extreme case, we must acknowledge that every person who encounters the word must make a decision on whether to follow Jesus as a disciple or reject the way that he shows us, to conform to the world or to be the salt and light in it. And we cannot do this through our strength of will, but only by God's grace. In order to participate in the Commonwealth Games, athletes first have to choose a sport to train and to practice and to endeavour to be the best that they can be. In 1 Corinthians 9.24, Paul talks about the life of faith being like a race that you run to win the prize. Our discipleship involves discipline, effort and discomfort. It involves us being challenged and challenging others. It might even put us in opposition to our family and our friends. And yet we are never alone in our endeavour, as the Holy Spirit is there to help us as a counsellor, and as a trainer, the spirit who enables us to grow in grace and holiness and in our understanding of God to be more like Jesus. So this Sunday, I encourage you not to be afraid of the opposition and instead to go with Jesus, follow him in the way of God's justice and righteousness and in so doing, see his transforming love displayed. Let us commit ourselves to be his disciples, to becoming more like him in his mission, in challenging injustice and in sharing God's love with the world.